everybody, so this is going to be January's beauty favorites. I sound a bit stuffy, it's because I have a bit of a cold, but we're gonna get through this. Um, I have some products that I've been loving the past couple of months or so, that I, so I thought I would share. The first one is not actually a makeup pro product, it's something I've been keeping um, in my shower, and I actually got it for Christmas from my husband. He surprised me, and it's not often that he surprises me. I've had this on my wish list for probably years. I just have this running wish list of things that if I suddenly have money one day, like I'll go buy for myself that are solely for myself. And uh, it's been on my wish list for years and uh, he went and bought it for me. So this is the Sauna Clear by Michael Todd. And that's what it looks like. And it's basically the same idea as the Clarisonic. I had both on my list. Um, I've researched both and I thought they were both very comparable. And uh, he found this one on sale. So I'm so excited to have this. Um, it comes with a bunch of different brush heads, like sensitive and exfoliating and whatnot, things like that. It came with a bunch of different facial cleanser samples as well, but I just use my regular facial cleanser. I keep it in the shower and you just turn it on and it like vibrates and then you kind of spin it all around your face and it's the most amazing exfoliation product ever. It's not something that my skin can tolerate every day. I probably use it every three days or so, um, but it gets off all the dead skin cells and leaves your skin feeling amazingly smooth and um, yeah, it's just really good quality. So I'm really excited that I have that. So that is the first product. The second product I just put up a review on, this is the Super Goop CC Cream. I have been using this pretty much for two months now, um, mixing it with different foundations depending on what shade my skin happens to be at the time. I will leave the link down below for the review because I talk all about it, but it's a fabulous BB cream. And then along those lines, I also tried a new product. This isn't a BB cream, this is a tinted moisturizer and it's by NARS and I don't think it's the full size. Uh, but I purchased it two months ago as part of a Sephora order and the reason I got it is because it's in the shade Alaska, which is quite uh, pale, which is good. A lot of my products are a little bit of tan in them and um, when I'm just running out the door to school, take my kids to school or run errands or things like that, I don't feel like messing with foundations and mixing things and doing a whole face. I just want to like even out my skin tone and go. And this actually has pretty good coverage for a tinted moisturizer and it doesn't leave me shiny and it dries down nice and I don't know, I just have good things to say about it. So that's that and then the next product is a blush. I've mentioned it before, probably in the summer, but because I was just in Mexico, I found myself using it a lot. It's from Essence, so it was really inexpensive, and it's in the color East Side Story. And it comes in a little package like that, so nice to travel with. And it's just a really pretty orangey coral with a bit of um, sparkle on it. And, uh, ooh, look at that color. <laughs> I love it. Um, so yeah, I wore that a ton in Mexico. It looks really good if you um, have a tan. And it lasts pretty long too. So that's that. And then this product I also got for Christmas. And um, I haven't experimented with it as much as I'd like to. But I did bring it with me to Mexico and I did do my sister's makeup for the wedding with it. And it's the Smashbox Masterclass 3 palette. And that's what it looks like there. It's in a little book. So again, it was really nice to travel with. And then when you open it up, whew, I don't want to drop it got all these different eyeshadows. Um, so all your neutrals are over here, which are great for every day. I've experimented lots with these. And then I have some fun colors to play with, and I do want to do some tutorials and looks with those um, in the future. And then um, there's contour and highlight colors over here, and blush colors over here. And um, then you just lift up this plastic part. I like that because it really protects it. And there's all the colors there. So definitely something fun. Uh, it was a fun Christmas gift that I got for myself and I can't wait to experiment with it some more. There's mattes and there's shimmers and yeah, I've really only used the eyeshadows. I need to experiment with the face products, but definitely a favorite. And then my last favorite, this isn't going to be a very long video, um, is a conditioner and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it in the past. I know I've purchased it in the past, but I repurchased it and I love it again. It's from L'Oreal and it's their Eversleek line and it's the Reparative Smoothing Conditioner. And that's what it looks like. Zoom in for you. And it's just a really thick hydrating conditioner. So if you like things that um, really are hydrating, super thick in consistency, it may weigh your hair down if you um, don't like that, you might not like this, but if you really want like your hair to be smooth and sleek, 
this is a fabulous conditioner in this drugstore, so that's awesome. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my January favorites. I hope you guys all had a fabulous month, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!